Hey guys and welcome back to I Like or Watches and welcome to the unboxing and first impressions video for this Satina DS Action Diver. Another watch very kindly lent to the channel by Francis and Gay. Now Francis and Gay are a UK based jewellers but they do sell to the European market and should you be tempted to take a look at the watches they have on offer, I've put a link in my video description. It's a standard link, it's not an affiliate link. This watch was lent to the channel. I will have to return it and that is why you will not have seen the includes paid promotion icon in either the top left or the bottom left hand corner. Now this is the unboxing and first impressions video for this watch. I will be producing a full review for this watch and other watches that Francis and Gay have lent me and if you're interested in coming back to I Like Watches to check out those full reviews don't forget to click that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notifications icon. Cheers guys, let's crack on shall we? And here it is, all the plastic has been very carefully removed because of course this watch is going to be going back to Francis and Gay. This is a 300 meter water resistant diver and according to the specifications on their website it's 12 millimeters thick. So I thought I'd test that and um, why not test it on camera so let's just have a little look shall we. 12 millimeters thick that's impressive if it is. 12.2 close enough um yeah i've reviewed some um let's get rid of those i've reviewed some 300 meter water three 300 meter water resistant divers before and they've been sort of 15 16 millimeters thick so um yes this does have the powermatic 80 automatic movement inside i suspect that's a very slim movement 80 hours of power reserve it's impressive isn't it um, cracking little movement this one so yes kudos to satina um 38 mil diameter watch as well um featuring a few smaller divers on the channel these days as well which is great and of course this one is swiss made right let's have a little fiddle with the um, bezel once we have checked out the alignment on this watch bezel looks yeah nicely aligned uh dial looks okay as well i think yeah, nice. Right. How many clicks do we have first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 120 click, unidirectional bezel. Very positive clicks. Those clicks are, yeah, quite um, strong. Um, average resistance, perhaps a touch over average resistance. Not the most crisp clicks, but just a very, very positive um, bezel action and again just checking the alignment looks pretty good yeah nice um, insert though looks um, aluminium or it's brushed I don't suspect that is um, ceramic sadly would have been nice to have had a ceramic insert in there it does come with a sunburst dial I'm a little bit torn when it comes to sunburst dials on divers I think I prefer my dials to be a sort of matte finish um, but it's quite a subtle sunburst, isn't it? Right, let's check out the finishing on this case then. You've got some fairly strong angles and um, sort of facets, if you like. Um, interesting lugs. They're quite nicely done, aren't they? Nice brushing. Looks fully brushed. I'm not seeing any polished surfaces on the case. Some very tight machining on that um, bezel actually the grip felt absolutely fine no issues there um, the finishing on the end links I tend to prefer the transitions from the outer parts of the end links to the center part to be just a bit more crisp um, they just look a little bit rounded um, and a bit soft I do like that transition to be really sharp and crisp but it's a very small criticism and only two micro adjusts and that is because of course you've got half links so you don't need as many micro adjusts um, I'm pleased to say that the inner part of the clasp is machined and the outer part is pressed but that's not too unusual at this price point it is signed at least um, no divers extension um, but yeah it's nicely finished fully brushed I'm not really seeing any polished surfaces um, apart from um, is that bezel got a little bit of sort of polishing on it I suppose looks a little bit polished and um, the case back let's have a little look at the case back there are some polished surfaces on there um, yeah they do nice case backs Satina don't they I'm um, really deeply engraved 
um, logo there. Divers Watch 300M, um, some specifications and a signature. Yeah, nice. Right, let's get some power into this movement then. Um, quick look at the crown first. Yes, it's signed. You've got DS on the crown. Um, yes, the winding action is nice. Oh yeah, that feels really smooth. That is like buttery smooth. Um, let's just wind that back in again. Yeah, that yeah that that feels like quality, really nice. Okay, let's put some power into this. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's a quality movement in this watch. Yeah, there's a lo I mean you, there's a lot of resistance there. It feels like really good quality. Um, yes, yeah, smooth, really smooth, really really smooth. It's nice. Yeah, I like it. Right, we need to check out the loom on this diver. Then, um, yeah, I've seen I've done a few loom videos recently, and I'm curious to see how a watch like this, costing you know 600, 700 pounds, compares to some of the more affordable watches that I've been reviewing recently and uh, been testing the loom on. So yes, I'm sure I'll do a loom comparison video at some point and include this watch. Um, oh, BGW9, nice. Um, yeah, it's okay, isn't it? Uh, looks like fairly even application. Um, BGW9's never the brightest when you initially turn off the lights, um, but a decent application seemingly. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be the best I've ever seen, but I suspect it won't be the worst either. It'll be somewhere in the middle. Something I have noticed though, um, which is nice, is the very, very white loom on the dial and that loom pip. Um, quite often with more affordable watches um, that have really, really good loom, the loom is a sort of off-white, almost yellowy colour. Um, but on this watch, that loom uh, during the day is a stark white and that is nice. I do like that. Absolutely. Well, there we go. It's nice to feature another Swiss made watch on I Like Watches. There's been quite a few of them this year, hasn't there? I hope that continues into 2022. I'm sure if uh, Francis and Gay continue to kindly lend me watches to unbox and review for you guys, I'm sure there'll be a few more Swiss made watches featuring uh, on I Like Watches in 2022. All right, guys. Um, thanks ever so much, as always, for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. Take care. Look after yourselves and you'll see me again very, very soon.